what's up? Welcome back to Chillin' with Dave. So today we are doing about seven minute cinnamon rolls. It takes about four minutes to do and then, but like seven minutes in total. So let's get started. The first thing, we're gonna make the filling. First, you need two tablespoons of butter and melt it up. Put it on a high temperature, make sure you watch it so it does not burn. Right now, I'm gonna start with the other stuff, the other stuff. So you need for the filling some brown sugar, cinnamon, and a smaller bowl. Okay. So you need about four, I think. Yeah, four. <laughs> four. Um. Four tablespoons. So, okay. So when our butter is melting, we need four tablespoons. If I'm right, okay. So we got our tablespoon. Now we need four things of brown sugar. Four tablespoons of brown sugar. One. Two. Make sure you count so you don't um, like mess up. Three. And last one. And a little left. Four. If you hear your butter crackling, that means it's soon ready. Now you need a little cheese. It's fine. If it's not all melted, now pour your butter in. To do cinnamon. Well, I'm gonna do one teaspoon. I'm right. La, 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 la. We're just putting the cinnamon in. Just a little extra. No, it's way too much. I'm gonna get back out. Okay. Now, mix it up all together with a fork. It should be all crumbly, delicious. Make sure you smash all your brown sugar. The last batter are about breaking as you get to eat. That's delicious. Okay, let's try a little filling. Make sure it's good. Pick up a little bit. Oh my gosh. I love them. I love the filling. After you get the filling, put it off to the side. And when you it's off to the side, that's your cue to start making your dough. 
Okay. Frida. Hmm. One large bowl. It calls for a medium size because you do not have a medium size right now, so we're just so dirty. So we're going for. In a bowl, mix together your egg. No shells got in. Well, mix it, wash your hands. Get it down. <laughs> Bad to fall. Egg need some vanilla. I'm a lot of vanilla, so you can just substitute me for some water. The exact amount of water you need is. Okay, vanilla. Now you need some sugar. Get your granulated sugar. Granulated. <laughs> Open your package up. Lift it a little bit. And you need, um, and one tablespoon. Um, one tablespoon. And now instead of a one tablespoon, One tablespoon. And I need your milk. Mm. La la la. Yes, I am doing a recipe for this. I've made this multiple times. It is the best. Two tablespoons of whole milk. It says whole milk. If you don't have whole milk, you can just use normal milk. Just like I'm doing. One. Now whisk, whisk this together with a fork until combined. When it's a light yellowy color or a yellow color, then that's when you're your to to add your mix. Add a cup and a half of your pancake mixture. Now whisk this together. If you think it's very crumbly, then you can add some milk. If it's in a ginormous bowl like me, then it might be a little like harder to draw. To do. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. You're gonna be needing a rolling pin for this. Don't do too much, guys. 
just because then your thing when you mix, like when you mix it up with your hands, it's gonna be very sticky on your hands. You do not want it too sticky. You want it the perfect consistency. The milk kind of clumps it all together. If there's not enough milk in it, then what you can do is um, if it's still really crumbly, add a dash more milk. Not even a drop. Well, you need a little more than a drop, but not fully a drop. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now I got it all clumped up and it's pretty good. Blum, 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 blum. Okay. Now I'm going to take my hand. Boom, blum, 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 blum. By just feeling it, you can tell if it's too sticky or not. Mm, it's good. I can tell it's perfect. Like, just by feeling it. Oops, I tried eating that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now this is your time to move everything out of the way. So you can start kneading. Take all your dough, bloop, 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 and put it right on your cookies and place. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Take your fork and bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> It's a perfect texture. If it's a perfect texture, then that's good. If you have all different crumbles, then that's fine. Dip your hand in the flour. Get a little bit of flour like this and just pat it on your hands. The hands look like flour. Just rub it like soap. That should get a, the dough like a good consistency. And like it won't stick all over to your hand. Like on the bottom, I'm gonna say it's a little low. I mean flat. And you can even just sprinkle some on the places that are very crumbly and don't want to stick anywhere. And now it's a perfect consistency. So now you can mold it with your hands into the right thing and pat it. You need to knead it really good. Your dough should look smooth like this. Put all your crumbs on top of the dough and push it in, 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 in. You guys can follow along long with this recipe too. I'm copying Tasty's recipe, so go search up Tasty's recipe, and then there's a little search Tasty thing, and you search up two minutes per, like two minutes in the nose, or four minutes in the nose. Okay, this is what my dough looks like. Now just knead it long out with your hands. Now I'm gonna go quickly wash my hands. Just to get all my other dough off my hands. 
all the little extra dough, whatever rinky dink thing the things you have on your hands. Dry them off and get your rolling pin and clear it off your space so nothing will crash into your dough when you're in the middle of like molding it. And what you can do if it starts sticking onto your rolling pin, take some flour, put it on your rolling pin. And it should work. And do a little on your dough. And then that should be it. And it shouldn't stick. Nope. Okay. So my thing, I'm gonna grab a cutting board, guys. Board, feel free to grab one. Because it works better if you're on a cutting board. Because then um your tablecloth won't have something that you need. Oh yeah, I'll put it down. You can just eyeball your measurements, guys, because you won't know them exactly. I mean, you could, but like, like mine won't be the best, guys. We want it pretty good. You have to roll your dough out by an uh, eight by six. <laughs> I just have a question, guys. Hey you, in that purple shirt right there, do you like cooking? Because if you do, go ahead and try this thing. And this video is not sponsored by Tasty, but they have their own YouTube channel. Please go subscribe to Tasty's YouTube channel and mine. Because if you do do that, then that will be lovely. Okay, this is the size of my thing. Some of my thing is almost sticking to my cutting board. Oh, great. I gotta restart, guys. Hug. I forgot to put my flower down. It's fine, guys. Don't worry about it if you have to restart. Nothing bad. Just let it roll up your dough again. Which isn't bad. I would recommend that do it in a good way. Like, push it down with your hands first. And it like this shape. I'm gonna go fast. And if you guys need to flip it at all, go ahead and flip it. La 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 Now take it out and do it nice work.
this is hard, guys. Because you get the exact right size. It's hard because some people don't want to let their dough. I'm going to just hold this little slot in. If not, I'm going to flip it. Make it thin, guys. And then it's like that. And then flip it like that. The only guys reason I flip it is because some of my stuff may start sticking. Okay, this is not coming out as planned. So I'm going to start start doing it with my hands. And then you guys can just stretch it out if you're doing it with your hands too. My dough does not want to come to get for me, which is the time that you want to start going fast. Because if you go fast, If you need someone to check it, go ahead. Do that now. Okay. Okay, perfect. This is the perfect amount. Perfect size. I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit. Because as soon as I do it, mine will stick in. I mean, going back in. You can't have that happen. Okay, all done. If you're, time to do this, if you're, and then get all hard and yes, then that's the time you can throw it in the microwave for a good 15 seconds or something. Which is what most people have to do. So go ahead and do that now. Go for 15 seconds. your little geese. Okay, I'm just gulping this down. Okay. It's easier to spread when you just take it out of a warm microwave, guys. It's way easier to spread, but, you know. If you guys don't have a microwave, and you have an oven, Ovens work just as fine, put it on a light temperature. Um, and just do it for count or something. Put a timer on your phone or iPad, something like TV, something because you can search up on YouTube, like one minute timer. But, anyways, I'm spreading our dough. Spread that up, spread that up. Spread some. Guys, I would recommend double the filling. I would do the recipe to double it because it does. It gives you barely when you. This these cinnamon rolls are so good, but if you don't double the recipe filling, it's just gross. 
Okay. And I have all my filling spreaded. Do not open it, guys. I can blow. I be careful. Okay. If roll it really tight. Filling fell off. Throw that in the bowl because I have a good thing to crunch it. Smush it. Go ahead, take a knife and cut it right in the middle. You should make two. And now, get your cooking spread. Cooking spread, I would recommend because it's not, like, you don't need to spread a whole bunch of melted butter around it, oil. So cooking spread is the one I would recommend. And just squirt it right in there. Go ahead, do it over there. Thanks. That's good. This one does not smell good, but. Walking around, around in front of the gas. Okay. Place your cinnamon rolls in your mugs simply and cutely. Just like. Smush it down so you can barely see it off the top if you're looking at it like this. Now, throw a little water in there. Because the water makes it more moist. So, what about this much? A half of that in each. So, what are my little measuring cups? Can we use this? This port right over everything now. It's very moist. I'm at my grandma's right now, guys, because I decided to cook there. So now put your mic, your cinnamon rolls each for 145 seconds. I mean, one minute and 45 seconds. Now, in a little bowl like this, kind of make your icing. L O L. Confectionery sugar. Confectioned sugar. So you need six of them. One. One. Two. 
too. I'm gonna go with this one. Not doubling the icing while well, it's doing the minimum amount they say to do, and yeah. Okay, yeah. You should be able to finish right before your second cinnamon roll is made. So it should be already made before your second cinnamon roll comes out, and hopefully it is. This is a nice bout of icing. Very thick today. I think that would be a way to put it on the food. That's okay. But when our thick and fluffy icing is made, go ahead and pour that onto your cinnamon roll. This one's not as watery as usual. I don't know why. 
But so delicious. Come on, can you see them? Okay. That's how we make our flick thick and fluffy and cinnamon roll. But before we go, then we got try our thick and fluffy cinnamon roll. Ready? Oh my gosh. Guys, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know why, but guys, this is extra good to buy. Yes, it is. Well, first I got to clean this up, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on notification. No. Post notifications so you can see every time I post a new video. Comment down below what's your favorite, like, breakfast food. Cinnamon rolls are gonna count my breakfast. So comment down below what's your favorite breakfast food. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.